Hey yo, listen! Me drop one big tune right now upon SoundCloud. Link in bio, go listen now, big tune. Make the thing go up, up like seven. Up, up, up! Book, 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 go listen now, big tune! Stream! Alright guys, so I want to talk about this hilarious clip from this upcoming interview uh, that I stumbled across featuring Tom Hanks' son, Chet Hanks, and Zeewee, right? Now, the person that's, that's doing the interview, I, I guess her name is Zeewee or something like that. I don't really know who she is. Uh, I don't know anything about her. I guess she's one of these insta-famous people that's famous just to be famous type of people. I really don't know. But she's interviewing Chet Hanks, right? And uh, she's asking him about some of the things that he's done in the past that have upset the woke mob, right? Uh, some of those things include uh, using a Jamaican accent while being white. Big up, big up the whole island massive. It's your boy Chetana coming straight from the Golden Globes, you are saying? Me see me father Tom Hanks presenting in a white soon forward come. Big up, tune in. He also has used the N-word in his rap songs as well. Hey, my nigga. And then he tried to justify it. I know the majority of y'all are not going to get this because the history is still so fresh in our country. But hip hop isn't about race. It's about the culture you identify with. Yeah. So with that being said, obviously you can see why the woke mob would be upset, right? The guy is basically using the N word and he is also uh, culturally appropriating black culture, right? So uh, some people want some apologies from him. Okay, and in this interview, he was actually asked to apologize for some of the things that he's done that has upset the woke mob in the past. And I want you guys to check out his hilarious response. Take a look. Are there any marginalized communities you want to apologize to? I don't know, maybe the Pato community? Nah. I don't feel like I've truly done anything offensive, so... You don't see it as cultural appropriation. You see it as like a celebration of culture. Mm -hmm. And then it's like social justice warriors can like go kick rocks. Yeah. 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 No comment. Got it. No, I mean, I 100% I agree. Social justice warriors can kick rocks. Mm. Bruh, I love that clip. Because social justice warriors can't go kick rocks, right? Uh, this guy said exactly what he should have said, okay? I absolutely love it when somebody stands up to the mob to say, you know what? I'm not apologizing just because your panties are in a bunch. I'm not apologizing just because your butt hurt, right? I'm not apologizing over your tears, okay? Because at the end of the day... Uh, the man has free speech, right? If you want to use a Jamaican accent, he can use a Jamaican accent. <laughs> and now when it comes to the N-word, look, I'm a free speech absolutist, man. If you want to use it, I'm not going to be around here trying to police it, okay? That's all I'm saying. And the host's face <laughs> when he refused to apologize was absolutely hilarious, right? She's sitting there looking at him like, bro, I can't believe you're not groveling right now. <laughs> you should be on both of your knees apologizing and crying uh, to the Patois community uh, for using a Jamaican accent, right? Because it's cultural appropriation, right? And, uh, you know, Chet here, he makes the argument that it's not cultural appropriation, it's actually cultural appreciation, which I actually 100% uh, agree with him on. And the only reason that people accuse him of cultural appropriation is because of his skin color, right? Because of his skin color and the fact that he acts in a certain way, they don't think that people of his skin color uh, should act, okay, which, again, it's kind of racist if, if you think about it, right, they're basically saying that you can't act a certain way because you're white, right, that's what he's saying, that's what the, the mob is actually saying, again, these are the same people who, who want to talk about cultural appropriation, that are wearing hair that doesn't belong to them, right, probably have tattoos, uh, that have Chinese letters and symbols and all types of stuff, uh, that does not match their culture or anything like that, but hey, you know, uh, let's go after this guy because he used a Jamaican accent, right? That's how the mob works. When you're white, it's cultural appropriation, right? When you're not white, it's cultural appreciation. That's what it is. So yeah, kudos to Chet Hanks here for refusing to apologize to the SJWs, the mob. Hey, I want to see more of this, right? I want to see a whole lot more of this, a whole lot more people standing up and saying, you know what? 
I don't care about you being offended. I don't care about your tears. I'm not apologizing. I refuse, right? Don't apologize to the mob because the mob will never apologize, right? They will never apologize for anything. So there's no need to apologize to them. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.